and pull the way I shoot it with one eye closed. Don't ever ask me about no bitches, I do not discuss the stuff. Ain't no more free busy, yeah, my brother, he just came home. Ain't no more free busy, yeah, my brother, he just came home. Ain't no more free busy, yeah, my nigga busy free. If he need it, then I got him, no, he do the same for me. Don't you ask me about no bitch, cause I don't care about none of these freaks. No, we thuggin' in this bitch, shit can get ugly in this bitch. Yeah, all these straps and stitches like a drum line in this bitch. Like my hand, it got a rash the way my trigger finger chip. She asked you to buy food, but she asked me to feed a dick. I ain't gotta say too much, cause you can see the difference. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I let the beat breathe. Why she clean it up? OCD, she a nigga. What's good, y'all? We back with another motherfucking QA. your boys. No damn filter podcast. It's your boy, young boy. It's DJ Rex. It's your boy, Bound 409. We here with another slap wood. But this ain't a five slap wood. We fuck with slap wood. Nah, for real. Facts. Y'all need to fuck with me too. But anyway, slap wood make you feel good. Mm-hmm. We fuck with slap wood because we slap. I just want slap wood. From back streets, front streets, everywhere. Smoke slap wood because we might slap your ass. Yeah. Anyway, we got what? Six questions for them this time? Once again? Hopefully. We might have more. You never know. What are some red flags to watch out for when you just start talking to a bitch? Well, I got one red flag if she lying for no reason. Mm. What's the lie? You gotta understand when I pay attention to the small shit. When it be on some, you say you doing this and I see you doing something completely different, like that shit. It's just little shit, you just lying for no fucking reason. Like, it was cool whichever way. The motherfuckers be feeling like they got a lot of people just because y'all fuck around and fucking shit, but at the end of the day, y'all not together. You never so got you have to You have to honor that shit. My nigga, y'all not together. Even if you in a, well, if you in a relationship, you shouldn't be lying in the first place. But if we not even, if we not together or none of that shit, bro, you ain't, you, you shouldn't feel like you got a lot of me about anything. Because for one, I don't even give a damn. <laughs> Be honest with Sometimes you. a motherfucker gonna respect you more if you just flat out to the bro. truth. Cause it should be. Cause you be going through all these other extra lives just to get this one high off and it ain't even worth all that shit. Ain't that boy what? And nigga keep asking you questions about about the lie that you said and now you gotta make up more lies. And then if you can't make them up, you're gonna be like, you know what, I don't wanna talk about it. Right. Niggas know you lying. But what? My red flag though is it is the line shit. But it's like you to a wall, bro. It's like for oh, what? It's white, like, like some shit you ain't even got to lie about, though. <laughs> hey, uh, I seen your message, but I went by my phone to reply. Are you see? Well, nah, but nah, what? Oh, she said, nah, nah, nah. I had, I was watching a movie, and then I tried, like, I couldn't, I couldn't, I went by my phone. Wow, bro. I don't give. The littlest fuck about you, Not even but you, a bit. and I'm showing you this. I, I can't hide. Like, if I don't fuck with you, I cannot hide that shit Thanks. at all. Can't, <laughs> can't fake just, kick it. You know, dry ass line that fuck makes that. you ugly. Mine, mine is like if she. I don't know if you. If you notice that she got like a, an attitude problem. Like a bad, bad attitude type shit. I, I'll notice that shit quick. I, I got a lot of red flags. Emotional, shit, being emotional and shit. That too. Like if a bitch crying, and like we one on one, and she talking about some shit crying, and it's not. Ooh. I don't want to seem heartless, but it's not that serious. And the bitch is like bawling, crying, and want to cry on your shoulder. I'm gonna be like, hey, I you just, know, I just thought I don't know how to. Nurture you like this. A red flag, another red flag to me is if, okay, you just start talking to a motherfucker and they always want to bring up their ex. I got one, two, and three. Bruh, you, I don't want to hear that. For what? What's your reason? I don't want to hear none of that. You bro. still you still in love with you? You still fucking with her, so why you start talking to me if you still in love with your ex, bro? I don't want to hear trying to get over her ex with you. Man, you sit there and tell him how about how the ex nigga used to do this. Man, we don't want to do yeah. that shit, bro. Go back. Yeah, he used to do this. Or, or 
She fucking disappeared. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Nigga, this nigga grabbing on her. Nigga just loving it. Like, she just oh, stopped. What do you know? What do you... I'm like, tough. I'm just sitting there witnessing all this shit firsthand. I ain't never dealt with a hoe yet, man. I ain't know how to do that shit. But nah, that shit was a true eye opener, motherfucker. What Kiki Palmer said? Sorry to that man. Sorry to this man. <laughs> Uh, I don't, I don't been on a date. I don't been on a date with a bitch out to eat, and I've just noticed little things, just little things about her that'll make me like, oh yeah, this the last time. This, 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 this is the last time. Y'all know y'all done been through that shit. Y'all, y'all go chill with somebody, or y'all go on a date with somebody, and y'all like midway through the date, and you like, oh yeah. What's something a person can do now that you do that? Uh, you talking? Don't shut your ass up. He took the word right out <laughs> my motherfucking mouth. You talking too much, God, or or you giving out you giving out mad involuntary information that I don't give a shit about. <laughs> I don't give a shit about none of that shit you talk about. None of, nothing you talk about got to do with me and you or the date or none of that. You just talking just because you think I want you to talk about that. My day, my worst day, all right. And this bitch presented it to me like, was like, shit, we gonna do this and do that. I'm like, shit, bet. I ain't never had a bitch to say, shit, we gonna go on a date and go ahead and we can, I can take you over here to this bowl now that we can bowl. The winner got to pay and like making it fun. I'm like, that damn, that shit live in the, and it's she was Hispanic. It's so I'm okay. like, I'm about to marry this old okay. bitch. Like, <laughs> this is my wife. <coughs> so boom, we go to PA. This is a long ass time. Like, I just graduated high school. Mexican bitch took me to the uh, bowling alley. We cool. I but you know, story. you know how you got to type your name in? Yeah. This bitch looked at me and said, what's your name? Okay, that's the first red flag. I said, oh, okay. Yeah, this this <laughs> this ain't this ain't going up. We done talk a whole fucking day, like in nah, person, bro. like staying up and talking, nothing sexual. We having conversations, like intellectual conversations. Like, damn, this bitch, I thought this bitch was out here. She really, you know what I'm saying? Talking <laughs> about some shit. And so I'm like, yeah, this bitch cool. Uh, yeah, then we exchanged numbers, talking a little bit more. Then we went on a date, like. How the fuck you don't know my name? And she was serious. This wasn't no joke. So I'm like, oh, right, yeah, you you blew it. Yeah. You From that day on. You don't remember a nigga name, bro? You done told it on yourself. <laughs> you should have never said this shit. What is wrong with you? put my fucking initial. D. I didn't even D. know that. Straight. Yeah, nigga, what, what's your name? Stop it. So you don't know nothing. <laughs> All right. What business was with you? She was getting yeah. close to a nigga. Just, just, just talk. Be like, man, I know how to move with your ass, man. Hey, babe. My name Bam Fuller, nah, baby. You ain't gotta know my name. Shit, your name about to be Saran Wrap. I'm about to see you straight through your ass. Dang, dude. You're marked man. Y'all be burning some shit out here, man. You a burner and you don't even know. But that's a whole nother concept. If it was some shit that's invisible that you wish that was visible that motherfuckers could see, what would it be? I'm gonna answer it to try to give you an easier yeah. glimpse of what, what I mean. Some shit that's invisible that motherfuckers normally can't see that I wish they could see. I want them 
is whenever your fucking mouth stink. Mm. You know, like on the cartoons and they had on the pies and shit, they had the stench come up and come grab that motherfucker by the nose and bring them all the way over there. I, went, I, I want your fucking mouth to stink. Like SpongeBob and Patrick. Yeah, they, what they ate? <laughs> Something like that, and they had the green cloud of yeah. funky ass breath. I want to be able to see that shit before I see you. And if your breath smell good, it's gonna have like, you know what I'm saying, like fucking, you can just see that shit from a mile away. But if that hell stink, like you just stink, like you seeing the stench coming off the Gucci through the pan. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, 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 I like some fish sticks, man. Say, I, wish, I wish you could see that shit. Going, I thought that's what you were saying. Oh. But I told him, uh, love, I thought he was going to say love or some shit, but I want to see, we talked about this shit on whatever video that was, like, you know how motherfucker got in spy movies and shit, you can, like, x-ray vision, shit like that, with some glasses, but I want to see a bitch stats like a spreadsheet, you know what I'm saying, your whole stats and how you, you know what I'm saying, your bodies. This, this, and that, your relationships, what you done did, good and bad, and your percentage, what you, your overall rating is. You right, just that. put on these shades and be like, boom. You know. She has 50 of her bodies. All that shit will just come down. She is a trash ass person. She be taking this much dick. She belongs to the streets. She can only take this much dick. She can suck this much dick. Oh. I would like to see. A motherfucker, even okay. You know how in comics they got the little thought bubble. <coughs> mm-hmm. I would like to see that. I would like to see what you think and do my eyes with a little fucking thought bubble right up there above your motherfucking head. I'm cool with that too. But I want, I don't want to invade your privacy. I just want to see what you're thinking when it comes to me. Uh, okay, that's okay. Yeah, because you know I'm we saying. can be specific. You can't be everybody's business, baby. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. What you thinking? Whenever they say that involves me, me, yeah, I need to see that. I'm gonna be able to see that shit before you even say it. That's a good ass answer. Yeah. My uh, my this is the one I just started. This is uh, honorable mention. Okay. Fucking uh, whenever, what is your first reaction? To a motherfucker, man or woman, with a gag reflex. I'ma laugh. Well, it depends on what situation. I'ma always laugh. What situation we in? Every I'm situation. Always if, even what okay. you're thinking about right now, that situation okay. too. Okay. Cause I don't know. If that you, shit is hilarious. If you, if you suck me up, baby, you get the gag, I'm gonna be <laughs> laughing my ass off. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I be making no. fun of that shit. I ain't gonna be. I'll make fun of I'm you the, the, later on after we get done. You remember yeah, you doing this? Later on, cause I'm gonna think you about to throw up, and I'm gonna be damn near about to be pissed. Like you better not throw up. That shit happened to one of my partners in college before. <laughs> Bro, it's like once I hit a liquid, my heart go drop. I'm gonna be like, no, 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 no. Tell me, bro, the bitch was sucking my partner dick. You better put that shit in your pocket. You threw up on this shit, man. I was like, yeah. I hope you never talk to me. Right. That's a two piece in a biscuit. Yeah, had sex with my boy. That's disgusting. Damn. That is disgusting. He had sex with it. He did. He did. He did. He had sex with it. He did. He had sex with it. He danced with it. He had sex with it. Shit. What movie quotes do you use on a regular basis? Shit, I was just gonna get drunk and watch The Grinch. I was just gonna get drunk and watch The Grinch. I say more music quotes than anything throughout the day, but movie quotes that I probably didn't say the most. I was saying this shit all day yesterday. <laughs> nobody, nobody come to see you, Otis. Ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis. Nobody, not a. <laughs> we came to see the temptations. They coming to see me. They coming to see the temptations. Ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis. You wish you could work it the way I do, but you can't. <laughs> My shit is about to come and see you, bro. Shit. You ain't hear about the last security guards. I the fuck I'm supposed to hear. You heard what happened to the last security guards. You didn't even hear what happened to the last security guard. So how the fuck is I'm going here? Just do your job and I'm going to do mine. What are you talking about? Now my other one is, you going to watch your temper. I ain't got to watch shit. What we going to do, take it easy. 
make this money. You gonna watch your temper. I ain't gotta watch shit. You gonna treat people right, talk to people right. No, my, my other one. I ain't getting no bag. Yeah, you is. Oh, oh, getting that back God. seat. Walk home or get your ass beat. You don't even try. Get your cry baby ass in the back seat. Nigga, these little kids have more heart than your motherfucking ass. Man, fuck that. I'm riding in the I don't front. give a fuck what you say. You better get your ass in that back seat or walk home or get your ass beat. I say this shit all the time, boy. You say, look here, white boy. It's gonna take about four of yours to get mine. <laughs> okay. When was the first time or worst time that you ever got snitched on? At work. I really do. At work, I done got snitched on plenty of times. On some goofy shit. Like, Ooh. like, come on, bro. You really... What you be doing, though? Tell them what your ass be doing. Like, bro, come on, bro. That ain't got... Motherfuckers at work be worrying about everything but they self. I was that good year. Nigga. My first day working there, I was smoking in my car all the time. I ain't even smoke before I went to work. Nigga, I went in that bitch. I had my regular clothes on. Sat down in the office. Keep in mind, I ain't smoke. I'm airing that whole out and everything. Nigga was like, ooh, it's for like smoking here, boy. I'm like, bro, what you, what you on, fool? Oh, like, God damn. I, I hate this, bro. I hate this shit. Only thing I hate more than that is when I'm smoking in the car in like a parking lot or an apartment complex or something, and it's a whole bunch of empty spots, but you pull right, right next to me. Every time. Man. Every time. You pull right next to me. Matter of fact, for you somewhere trying to fuck in a parking lot, and they pull right next to you. Oh my God. But it's always smoke to me. Nah, matter of fact, we was just at somewhere out to eat, and the motherfucker was like, y'all smell like weed. Y'all high? Like, I'm like, bro, what the fuck? All the time. Like, Damn, you, you eating? You fool? Y'all loud. Bro. Damn, you been drinking all day. You gotta go pee. Why you keep asking some idea? Obviously, say the shit. We ain't gonna smell like fucking black and miles if we ain't smoking no black. Why your eyes look like that? Uh uh, you been smoking this? Shut the fuck up. Why your waist looking like that? You been eating, ain't it? But I got a couple of them. But just to, on some smoking shit. <clears throat> I don't remember what time this was, like how old I was or whatever. But my youngest brother was young, like to the point to where he just not talking to me. You know what I'm saying? He can say some shit, but he don't know a whole bunch of words. And he'll be up, he'll unlock the door out. He'll have the door unlocked, whatever. I'm coming that bitch higher than a motherfucker all night. Like damn near every day I'm doing this. So boom. I come in, do my little due diligence, woo, woo, woo. <clears throat> cup of smell. The next day, my little brother was like, he telling my daddy like, hey, uh, when Marcus come through the door, he just be smelling like smoke every time. <laughs> yeah, oh, bro. Bitch. <laughs> and then I was right next to this nigga like, it's a normal fucking day. Like, it's the next day, bitch. Like, how you thought about this shit? So I'm like, man. <laughs> what the fuck I'm supposed to like this on, off the top like that? Like this? It be on people. What's wrong with you, man? It be on people. But then it really do be on people. Cause my next story about my other brother. We were somewhere and my brother had got arrested. So <clears throat> I wasn't supposed to be with him at the time. You. you know what I'm saying? We weren't even supposed to be where we was. So, me, I'm thinking like, man, I'm about to come up with some, some legendary lives, like a, a, the Martin Luther King dream I'm about to sell them is going to be so big with this one. Like, I'm plotting the whole time, like, damn, I ain't even called him to tell them he got locked up till I was like around the corner from the crib. I was thinking so hard. So, boom, <clears throat> I tell my people that I was at football, meeting, watching film, or doing something with football, and they're like, all right, bet, all right. And so, your brother need to be like you, you know what I'm saying? You more respect, I'm like, yeah, you do. They get my brother, they talk to him in the room, you know, I'm this nigga. I get called in the room, so I'm like, what the fuck they mean? So they was like, yeah, you told me uh, you was doing something with football, 
Shit, he said he was with you. So which, who lying? Oh, man. Good Lord. That, that fucked up my whole... He ain't get the memo, bro. Lying streak. He ain't get the memo, dog. He, I was on the road. God man. damn. He done fucked up. Nigga can't believe me for nothing now. That nigga be fucking with that gang, boy. God damn. That's some fucking on the gang type shit. Come up in there, and you just screw up the whole operation. He got so scared. Lot. He don't want to get in trouble. He like got stuff. so scared. All he thought about doing was telling the truth. You can't get in trouble by yourself, man. Gotta bring somebody up down. That's why snitches be snitching. They think hey, that's it. Fuck it. You What's up, now? You do it yourself. You don't go on no liquid, no nigga. Go by yourself. <clears throat> hey man, keep it pee, man. Damn. No, I'm fucking snitching, bro. That shit not cool. Too. Lucky my boy. Q and A part seven, man. Random Q and A part yeah. seven, because we never know what the fuck we gonna ask each other. It's your boy, Young War. DJ got ready.